Hey, what's up guys? It's Andre from Apollo Automation. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about this. This came in over the holidays. Uh, it's the Home Assistant Green. We're going to be unboxing it today. Um, basically what it is, is it is a hub for Home Assistant. Uh, it's kind of intended for people who may not feel like going through the hassle of setting up a Raspberry Pi or something like that, or they may just not feel comfortable doing it. Um, so it's kind of for dipping your toes into the Home Assistant ecosystem, so to speak. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the box here. Well, got your usual stickers. Nice little welcome pamphlet. Warranty and safety stuff. And the crown jewel itself, the Home Assistant Green. Go ahead and put that bad boy open here. All right, it's a nice looking thing. Look, there's a little little home logo right there kind of giving me that clear Game Boy vibe a little bit on the back here you can see power a couple USBs HDMI uh, looks like micro SD and Ethernet and I believe it's gigabit and this thing obviously you can't tell how heavy it is but this thing is really heavy and I suspect it's because of this massive heat sink they put on the bottom. This thing is fanless, which is really nice. All right, moving on. So let's see here. Lift this up. Got a nice little ethernet cable here. And it's like power supply, obviously. Everything's nice and labeled. Okay, so, uh, Looks like you get adapters of all shapes and colors here, depending on which country you live in. Obviously, I'm in the US, so this is what we want to use. Looks like it just snaps into place just like that. That's really nice. Um, and you can kind of tell that the creators of this put a lot of thought into making this feel kind of as easy to get into as possible. Everything is labeled, you know, Ethernet cable, power supply, and it's all very approachable feeling, which I think is the intent of this device, because Home Assistant, as you may or may not know, uh, is not necessarily as approachable as some of the other smart home things that people see out there. Um, so the idea of the Home Assistant Green was to make something, for those of you who may not know how to get a Raspberry Pi set up or, or something like that is plug and play um, for Home Assistant, which we at Apollo Automation really appreciate because our devices are, I would say, fairly plug and play. So it seemed fitting that I got my hands on one of these uh, to test it out. And uh, obviously we'll be doing a little bit of testing with some of our sensors. So let's go ahead and get into it and get this thing plugged in and set up. Okay, so we've got the Home Assistant Green plugged into Ethernet and power here, as you can see. We've got a little flashy lights going on. So let's go over to the computer and take a look. All right, so if you look at the little Home Assistant welcome pamphlet, which is literally just two pages, this is kind of how easy they try and make it for you. You know, step one, plug in the ethernet. Step two, plug in the power. Step three, wait for the lights to start blinking regularly. And then step four literally is either download the app on your iPhone or Android, or in my case, go to your PC and type in this little web address here. So I cut us over to the PC here and let's take a look-see. All right, guys, so here we are in Chrome. So we're just going to type that web address. This is the welcome page in 
create your smart home, go through and do all your username stuff and follow the directions from there. So I think it's safe to say, at least from a setup standpoint, that uh, they really accomplished their goal of making this pretty accessible. Um, so props to them for that. All right, guys, that was our unboxing and setup video for the Home Assistant Green. If you guys are interested in buying one of these, I'll leave a link in the video description below. And for more content like this, make sure you like and subscribe this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.